Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Thunder, and today we're going to be creating a flashlight system. So, that when you press Q, you can go ahead and turn on the flashlight, and if it reaches zero, you can see it goes off. So, let's go ahead and get started. Here I have a scene where it's completely dark as you can see here, and I have my character which is holding a flashlight, but it is not casting any light. The first step is to go over to the flashlight, I'm going to right click, and we're going to go to light, spot light. In my case, it created rotated towards the left, so I'm going to just grab it and rotate it towards the right. Here, you can see that this is the range of my flashlight. In my case, I want it to reach even longer, so I'm going to grab the center dot and I'm just going to drag it out. And then, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go over to the intensity option, and depending on which pipeline you're using, this might look a little different, but it will still have the intensity option. Go ahead and increase its intensity, and you can see it there. If you want to make it so that the flashlight covers more area, all you gotta do is grab it by this dot over here and then drag it out or in. In my case, I'm gonna do something like this. You can also modify this by touching the inner and outer angles here. Now, if you want to make it look a little bit better, what I usually do is on the spotlight, right click and go to light and create a point light. This is basically going to add a sort of resemblance to global illumination, so light bouncing on the walls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the intensity by just a tiny bit like that. If you want to make it look a little bit um, more in tune with the flashlight, you can move it around like here, for example. It's actually a pretty cool feature. The next step is to go ahead and create a new C sharp script, which we're going to call flashlight. Go ahead and open it up. On our script, the first thing that we'll do is go ahead and delete the default functions. And then you're going to create a header called settings. Then go ahead and create a serialized private game object, which we're going to call flashlight. This will be the object of our light that we'll be setting on and off. Go ahead and create a serialized private float. Go ahead and call it battery and make it equal to 100 by default. Go ahead and create another serialized private float. And this is going to be called battery depletion speed. I'm going to set it to be equal to 0.7 by default. Then create a serialized private key code and call it switch key and make it equal to key code dot Q. Then you'll need a private bool, which we're going to call on. This will be the state of our flashlight. Next, go ahead and create a header called UI. Then go up here where it says using Unity Engine and you want to copy this over. And instead of Unity Engine, we're going to do Unity Engine dot UI. This is to give us access to the Unity UI library so that we can now do a serialized private text. Call it battery text. The next thing that we'll need is an update function. So go ahead and create it. In here, the first thing that we want to check is the input for switching our flashlight on and off. For this, we'll go ahead and do if input that get key down. Then we'll do two parentheses and we'll pass the switch key. And over here, we're going to do on equals exclamation sign which basically says the opposite of on so if it's on it will go off and vice versa then we want to check if on and battery is greater than zero then we're going to do battery minus equals battery depletion speed times time that delta time then we'll go ahead and do else if battery is less than 0 0.01 we'll go ahead and set on to be equal to false We'll then set our battery text, so we're going to do battery text dot text equals, and we're going to do money sign and quotes. The money sign basically allows us to include variables in our string. So we're going to do battery, two dots, and then we're going to do brackets. We're going to do parentheses so that we cast the number into an integer. And then after parentheses, we're going to do battery. Basically, what this is doing is so that our battery is not displayed as a bunch of decimal numbers and it is displayed as a whole number. Then the last thing that we need to do is say flashlight dot set active parentheses and inside here we're going to pass on. Save it and go back to Unity. Back in Unity, select your flashlight game object and go ahead and add the flashlight script to it. For the flashlight, you're going to drag the spotlight. Then for the text, we're going to right click here and we're going to go to UI Canvas. Over here on the UI scale mode, I'm going to set it to scale with screen size. I'm going to do 1920 by 1080. Then right click on your canvas, go to UI, Legacy, Text. This will be your battery text. I'm just going to set it up quickly. 
For my battery text, all I did was I set it to be battery 100%, just as a reference. I then used the UI tool to resize it, placed it down to the bottom left and increased the font size, changed the font style to bold and the color to be white. Then go ahead and select your flashlight and over here where it says battery text, drag the text that we created. On our game, you can now see that if I go ahead and press Q, the light comes on and it works. The battery goes down and if I disable the light, the battery stays where it is. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit and see what happens when it reaches zero. You can see now it's about to reach zero and the flashlight goes off. So there you go, you have a fully functional flashlight system for your horror game. And as always, if you liked the video, hit the like button, consider subscribing and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.